So yeah, we'll see what breaks tonight. Hopefully not too much. It's so quiet. Can I turn your webcam on, Derek? I can't see your Oh yeah, let me do your that. face. Yeah. Facilitate that. That communication. <laughs> oh, Dave! What? Haven't seen you for so long. That's true. <laughs> why, why do you have two monitors behind you? This makes no sense. That's that's my work computer. Oh. This is my personal <laughs> computer. I see, I see. I uh, I tried to I got a KVM from work, you know, and tore my desk apart and put everything together and and plugged it all in and fired it up. The KVM they gave me was busted, and I'm like, I just and I went back to them and I'm like, I need another KVM, and they're like, Well, we don't have any more. I'm like, fuck it. <laughs> so I came home with two more monitors and decided not to use my setup. Just set it up behind me. <laughs> my monitors. Oh, no. have multiple inputs so i just run the the work laptop to the same monitors as my other one and switch which which output i'm looking at at any given time and i have a, I have a separate wireless keyboard that i pull out for the and mouse i i tried the whole switcheroo thing but uh it wasn't working all right hey everybody's in Exciting. Uh, let's see. So, Dave, you guys Hello. explored a little bit in the uh, Slavers Stockade and had went underground, found a bunch of bugs and bug people, found some slaves, fought, fought some slavers, Decided to get out with the 18 or so slaves that you had rescued. One of the slavers. Did, did that include Garmin? Duel with you? Called out an honor duel with you? And then just beat the shit out of her? Yeah, you had field plate and she had chain mail. So it didn't, it didn't go well for her. <laughs> Your ACs awesome. were about 10 points different. Nice. Uh, and you got like five honor for that too. Cool. And then I, have... I think you guys returned. I have posted in the general how I envision Histon. Uh, it is a screen cap from the Care Bears movie from 1985, but I think it captures Histon. Very nice. That's, that's from the Care Bears I came out the year I was born. Yeah. <laughs> is that is he shirtless? Is that what that is? No, it's just poor animation. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, two colors is all you need. That's obviously right before he's murdering several party members. <laughs> he does look pretty angry. I don't know about that bow tie. I just got a Photoshop of Freddy Krueger glove on there and it's done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we went back to town with these prisoners. Are they? Did that include Garmin? No, we did not find Garmin. They have not heard of a Garmin. Uh, they said they were soon to be shipped off somewhere else. But yeah, they didn't know where? These and guys are pretty much resellers, so we Garmin is you know. We figure we're gonna have to here. go back and this time capture capture someone alive to figure out where the next location is. All right. Yep. So we want to go back to the Mushroom Man's cave. <laughs> yep. Yep. It, it's weird. There was a cave in. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's done. Yeah. I mean, did, did we get experience for that? Why would you get experience for that? <laughs> that makes no sense. Oh, right. we're causing the cave in. Yeah. Chewbacca lives on indoor. Except he doesn't. 
Anyway, uh, I had questions for you guys. Because I am trying to think. Unfortunately, with virtual tabletop stuff, you got to plan a bit in advance. So I'm trying to decide what kind of uh, other adventures might be in the future. And I'm wondering whether or not we'd have fun with the funhouse style adventure, which is things don't always make sense, but a lot of weird shit happens during the adventure and it can be a lot of fun just from the standpoint of it's a little crazy. Um, example, I don't think I'd run this one, but an example would be like white doom mountain where like, you're supposed to go recover these three things and the wizard like set up all these traps and whatever to go in there. And it makes no sense. You know, that's the sort of thing where you find a hydra in a 20 by 20 room or something like that. Um, so I can look at stuff like that. They they kind of bug me sometimes from the standpoint of, like, literally, that makes no sense. Why would why would this happen? Um, but on the other hand, they're usually more memorable than some other adventures. Um, so I'm, I'm curious if anyone has opinions on, hell no, I don't want to do that, or hell yeah, I do, or I don't care, man, whatever. I I think I tend to like um, a little more grounded in logic than that, but it's hard. I mean, if it's just that somehow this creature got in this this small room, comparatively, like I mean, I don't know that that's a big deal, but kind of I guess it kind of depends how crazy it gets. Yeah, probably. Uh... It's like the, it's like the sort of stuff where you're like, well, okay, if a mage really did want to dedicate his life to building this thing that doesn't make a lot of sense, but you know, it follows the rules of magic or whatever. Like there's <laughs> there's levels of consistency. So like it's consistent within the rules and physics of the game, so to speak. Not narrow, not necessarily consistent from the standpoint of why would anyone do this. Um Part of what I'm looking at is adventures in the range of levels five to seven or like six to eight. And it turns out a lot of them are like that, which kind of surprised me. But I can stay away from Let's those. just go all to Spelljammer stuff. I've never done a Spelljammer mission, ever. Your spaceship breaks and you all suffocate at the end. Well, that wasn't as much fun as I thought You don't it even would need... Be. You got a mirror. You don't need, you don't need a spaceship. <laughs> That mirror is basically a Stargate. You got a Stargate. We should see if we can get to if, another planet. If, if we know where we're going, is the gotcha there? We need to lock chevrons, I think. <laughs> Code them and then lock the last one. We need a guy named Walter who's, who says it. That was his name, right? Walter was the guy who called it out as they locked. I believe and so, yeah. I don't remember what his name was. The buzz cut guy? I mean,. They were all buzz cut. <laughs> <guys, laughs> <though>. Military. <laughs> Fair enough. You're muted, Dave, but still. <laughs> all buzz cut guys. You know, yeah, yeah. Hey, just so you know, Derek. Yeah. That party sheet is really expanded. I can see everybody else's stuff. Yeah, okay. I don't what know do you, if that's. What do you mean by really expanded? Which part of the party there's sheet? There's a there's a preference for whether or not. There's you're... A, on the inventory page, I can see all the coins every player has, and I can see all of the inventory every player has. Oh, yeah, that changed. There's an option somewhere for that. I probably bumped it at some point. Mm, not combat. Game. Well, in the meantime, quick, figure out who's been holding out on the part now. <laughs> yeah, there we go. hiss has got a yellow potion. We don't know what that is. The mystery. He can drink a horse potion. I don't know. <laughs> mm. Anyway. And my computer's still broken, so... Hopefully, hopefully progress this whole there? thing doesn't crash. What's that? Any progress with the computer? I have ordered parts, and I have to wait a week or two or three for them to arrive. All right. So you guys are in Hamlet. I guess chilling yep. out. And deciding when you're going to come back and how you're going to do it. So I'll leave that to you. What what hirelings do you guys have now? I know you talked about getting some, and I don't know 
who or what you got. Did anyone get a hireling? I don't know that we ever did. Oh. We were going to hire a replacement for Joseph. Yeah. Yeah, and I think, Dodge, you were doing that at one of the times when we were in the town because I was, like, leveling and people were doing stuff, and, and I think you were going to go do that. <laughs> okay. I just remember you saying it. I don't know that, you know, it ever happened. Well, what, what, what positions are you trying to fill? Definitely, uh, um, you know, horse walker. Horse guy. Yeah. It's probably a word for that, huh? Is it, I mean, is I think it, you said it. Is, horse guy. Is it Harrier? What's a Harrier? It's that kind of jet, jet plane. Yeah. No, no. It, like as a. It can hover. God damn it. I think you're thinking farrier, not Harrier. You're probably right. <laughs> No, I don't know what the hell I'm thinking of. Was oh, uh, that a blacksmith? Truth. Maybe that is what I was thinking of, just incorrectly. Anyway, whatever. Uh, and the PDFs are throwing in connection error. We're nice. just going to go with horse guy. <laughs> All right, you do find that a That suggests guy. to me that the guy that we hired probably isn't very good. <laughs> you want to find a horse guy. Jack Bauer is your man. He'll be your horse guy. Okay. So, so far, his job seems to mostly consist of sitting in Hamlet and drinking while you guys are gone, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think right now that, that makes sense since we're, yeah, we're using that as a base and we're using the mirror. All yeah, right. There it is. Uh, just a sec. Oh, feel free to remember our spells or whatever. Apparently, Dave found a luck stone. Where did I find a luck stone? Oh, do you what now? Luck stone. You've just been equip you've just been equipping and unequipping things. Never mind. You don't know what you have. What? Nothing. What? That message was hidden, and I didn't realize it. Oh, okay. You've been, you've been toggling things off and on in your inventory, and it's been making effects go on and off. Okay. Yeah, it was in a bag. It was. It was. It was in the the bag. But it was equipped, so I unequipped it. Gotcha. Good call. I think you found that off the uh, lady you were honor dueling, but you do not know what it is. Oh, okay. I don't think it works. Then. We've not identified anything. You do. You do know it's magical last... because I believe Fafnir, they ha Fafnir, Fafnir did magic. detect magic, so we know what stuff was magical or not. Okay. That was like the only thing I think too. Yeah, she was uh, pretty much outclassed by your. Here. She had a non magical battle axe and some non magical chainmail. All right. And for one round, she had a shield, but then it wasn't there anymore. <laughs> um, all right. Talk to me. We're going back to the slaver camp, right? What do we want our entry point to be? I would That's say one of those two storerooms where the slave pits or the cages were. Or or that control room. One of the two I think is, is our best uh is our best bet. What was the control room? So there was an area where there was a bug man um controlling the, the opening and closing of pits. We don't know like exactly what they did there because all the pits were empty. And uh, Fafnar saw some. Sh no, maybe it was Sven at that point. Yeah, it was Sven because he has the engineering degree. Uh, saw like shapes, so he closed it very quickly. Um, but I mean, yeah, I mean, that was kind of, I don't know. I, it, it's a smaller place, I think, than the storeroom, but it might be a good. Um, like tactical place to come in. I, I'm, I don't know. Just a thought. Sure. I don't remember that, but sounds good. It was up around the corner where we didn't get to because of the webbing. Mm, okay. I never saw it then. Yeah. yeah you're right. You, you didn't. Either of those works for me. 
Me too. All right. I think um, like I <laughs> so I I, I kind of want to see if if they're using that and how they're using it and what they're doing with it. So my preference would be to kind of um, you know scry to it. If there's one person using it, we might be able to just pull them back real quick without ever, you know, anyone even knowing anything, right? Other than this guy's going to be missing. You know what I mean? Yeah, that tends to be a rather major thing. So it is. But what I'm saying is, it's um, it it will take them a while probably to realize he's missing, and there won't be necessarily the the noise accompanied with, um, you know a bunch of people being attacked or whatever. Um, so, so that's my, that's my thought, but I like it. We can just do mirrors somewhere until we can grab a guy that looks like maybe they know something and the control room <laughs> seems like a good place for that. If we can target it well. Well, I got a good look at it as Sven, so I can give it a, a good scrying try. All right. You guys head yeah. to Draga's tower? Yeah. Um, yeah, upon, uh, arriving, Draga looks a little, uh, he, he, he looks happy to see you and, uh, leads you down to the, the, you know, the basement of the tower or wherever, where he's got the, the mirror and he brings four guards with him. You know, we should probably have names. Same guys you saw there last time. They ask you if you have any special instructions for how they handle anything that they might see on the other side, or because they did so well last time. Um, they did fine. That. They guarded it. What were they supposed to do? The guy we told them not to let disappear. They let disappear. I don't believe you told anyone not to let someone disappear. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we handed him off with specific don't let this guy go anywhere, but okay. Agree. Um, I mean, nothing should be able to see it to come back through until unless they see us come out of it, and in which case we'll be there. Uh, I guess if anything but us comes through, feel free to beat the crap out of it. Get stabby. All right. Yeah. Um, can we do something with the mirror before we go with the actual plan with the mirror? Like what? I, I would like to check something to make sure we don't screw ourselves up in a different way. Hey, Histon. Yeah. Uh, pick somewhere nearby outside of town here and open a place, open up to it if you would. Why me? I'm bad at that. And that's You're... how Hitson found out he was no longer with the party. <laughs> what? It's actually it... true. He's a gnome. He is bad at that. He's got like a built-in failure chance. Okay. Well, he was also the lightest, so easy to carry. Um, <laughs> I want to make sure that carrying someone across counts for them getting back across in case the person who goes first and can close it, if we have to carry him, we know we have to carry him last, basically. Drago will volunteer uh, one of his guards named Jim. Open it for you. He's like a skinny guy. Kind of I don't care who does it. It just I we can carry one of the normal people back. Histon's just lighter. May as well make it easy on myself. If I'm fine if Sven wants to open it. Although Sven usually wasn't. Is there an issue with one person using it multiple times or no? no. I'm trying to remember. Okay, a, a fixed number of times. It, yeah, it's not really tied to a user in terms of how many okay. times or anything. So even if Sven just wants to open it somewhere other than the Slavers Guild, but just so we can check if carrying someone back across. Now, given you won't be unconscious, which is the more likely scenario later, but you know, 
Yeah, I get it. All right, so I try and um, scry with the mirror, and I try and scry to. Um, what do you guys think? Either the like the inn in Nolb that was no, no, to something. do like a field outside of uh, Hank's, but not the field with the giants. No, no, do like a field outside of Hank's farm. Somewhere we've been, but that there's literally no threat to. Can we? I'm just trying to remember the rules because I think I thought we needed a, a, um, essentially a wall for it to fix on. Can we do it in if, a field? If it is well known, well, yeah, you would need a, a wall or a big tree yeah. or something, or the side of his farmhouse, side of a barn, something like that. Um, in terms of success chance, if it's well known to you, it's a hundred percent chance of success. If it's known slightly, which means kind of you've been there and you remember it, it's eighty-five percent. So, a lot of stuff you're looking at is going to be eighty-five percent. If you're going to like, I want to go to my bedroom that I grew up in, yeah, hundred percent. I mean, uh, I want to go to the room of my inn that I just spent all weekend. You know, that's a hundred percent. I can scry to my bedroom if you guys want. Up to you guys. Whichever. Okay. Just. All right, so I'm somewhere non-threatening to us, like I said, for a test, and then so I'm going to scry to my bedroom. All right, all right. What's your bedroom look like? We want to know. <laughs> it's got well, sailboat the, wallpaper. The, the, the bed Does it still have, have all your posters in it, or <laughs> has your dad like redecorated and made it a den? <laughs> it is in a castle. I'm sure it's still it's still pristine. And it still has uh, my bedspread, which has a big purple spider on it. <laughs> Awkward. They're elves, man. They, they don't change things. Yeah, we're in for the long game. I mean, we live for hundreds so of years. So I have been inside Dave's bag of holding. I wonder if I could scry to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it's probably only known slightly, but you could try. Either way, you can. You're all looking at a, a room with a big purple spider bedspread. Apparently, that's that was the joke because of that. I, I, okay. was, go, I was going with you. Yeah, yeah but there's it, a portal to Sven's room. <laughs> looks very. It looks very lush. Is no one's in there, right? Nope. Door shut. Yep. Yep. Okay. So I go ahead and go through. Okay, you're in your room. And then I fall over. Marlo, you want to help me carry him back? <laughs> yeah. So I, I don't think anything special on this one's going to happen. Like I said, I'm thinking more oh, if someone gets knocked unconscious, we have an issue. You want to see what but, happens if you go through with the person who makes it close? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Just no, to be on the safe side. You're fine. Okay. You guys make it through portal closes. Okay. I'd rather know how something works in bad situations before we're in a bad situation. <laughs> it rips you in half, and half of you is still... still locked in my bedroom. That would not be good. So yeah, that was good Good info to have. Okay. Doesn't that happen to somebody in Stargate? They get cut in half by the portal thing? Ah, man, those portals kill people. I think that's the, that's the movie, right? No, oh, episode God. two. I, think, I don't think they did it in the somebody movie. Somebody like it laying down and the rings come and suck half his body away? That might have been in the movie. That was in the movie. Okay. The, the, using the actual gate to kill someone was episode two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You held him through and then turned it off. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> right. Oh, then there, there's the whole backsplash part, too. Yeah. yeah, they use that multiple times. Yeah, on the prison planet or prison dimension, and whatever we, it is. Wheel of Time had... Wasn't Wheel of Time cutting people in half with portals sometimes? Or am I... Yeah, they hey. were called spoilers, and we don't talk about them, because in 52 <laughs> years, Al's going to finish that series. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's not even a spoiler. It's going to take 52 years to finish it, right? Starting now? You've, hey, you've Al, met Al, right? People kill each other with magic in Wheel of Time. <laughs> You're stuck with your... Anyway, here soon that might be considered a spoiler of the TV show. So no. <laughs> All right. 
Dragon thinks. Hey, Dragon, Derek. Dragon that pretty that cool. word for a guy that watches horses is apparently called groom. Oh. A yeah. Groomsman. I, I guess or, that. Or a holster. A hol- holster, however it's pronounced. Holster. But, yeah. Dick Hollister. All right. <laughs> a farrier is a guy that takes care of a horse's feet. Oh, we're going to need one of Wait, those, too. so then, I was right? on the right track? You yeah. were close. Yeah. That's yeah. why I said you probably meant farrier, but that is... Farrier, not hairier. Hey. <laughs> There's a guy named Dickerman and Holster on Google. That's that's unfortunate. Man, I thought Dick Hollister was from some book. Anyway, moving on. All right, you're back. Your portal's closed. Dragon thinks you have a real cool bedroom, Sven. <laughs> Probably. Okay, on to the control room. All right. Let me... Excuse me. Oh, God. Well, as closely as possible, we would want to pick the wall, because I believe there was a wall where you could see both the door entry and the uh, chair that or whatever the area was that, that you could sit in to control... As well as like the window to the pits. Is there a map? Yeah, let me. <laughs> He's probably putting us on us and rearranging so we're not out in the walls again. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're ruining the magic. Yep. True. <laughs> let me put Sven on here and then he can tell me where he's going exactly wasn't that effect already on you though Histon? what your phantasmal armor i don't know or did someone actually hit I think you i got head? i think i got hit last time oh yeah okay i i did wipe you guys all off the combat tracker and put you back on when i loaded up today because of all the changes and stuff um Al, let me. I guess I have to link you this so you can find it. Huh? Blamo. Uh, I guess figure out where you want to be. Right. So the bottom, the south wall, essentially. All right. As best as possible. My dog just farted and it smells like someone died. Just thought I'd share that with you all. The <laughs> south wall here? Like in this little room, is this where you were thinking? Holy shit, that's big. Yeah, because if there's someone in there controlling it, we can potentially just grab them and bring them back without, without anyone being the wiser until shift change or they were going to have him do something. So you're, so you're you're thinking roughly here, right? Yeah. All right. I'm going to just move you. Oh, maybe, God. What maybe I, our maid should memorize sleep for that. I just moved the whole map and all. Oh, no. Oh, I've got sleep. All right. All the line of sight still lined up. So good. I didn't think you took it anymore since it can't affect us anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Derek, that. can you move me a little? I'm, my screen is black right now. Because right, we're not, not on, no the map yet. on there yet. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Um, I'll do party vision. Design. I'll do party <laughs> vision on Sven for a minute there. So you should all be able to see Sven. Yep. I, hold on, I gotta get some guys placed down there. You do see one dude, Bugman, sitting there in the chair, staring out the window. You're kind of seeing him from the side. I guess I should move Sven to about where the gate is. That's about what you guys see. Are you seeing him backwards like... through the wall? Yeah. Huh. I wonder why that happened. Why that happened? So do you you I slipped through the that wall and then you brought me back through. Yeah. Um, is the door to the right closed? Uh, yes. 
Sorry, it should be. It is now. Okay, so it's just the room we're in, and then you, we can see. Can what do we see in the pits? Are there? Is he doing anything in there? Can we see anything? You can't in the pit? see from the door. From your gate, you can't see. Okay, what the heck? You probably really can't even see out the window from where you're at, because you're you're kind of where Sven is is actually like five feet forward from where you'd actually be seen. All right. Well, there's a guy there. Do we want to try and? I mean, I I don't know if like do we want to try and bring him back? Is it is it a bugbear or is it? Sorry, game is just being really slow on me right now. It's one of those bug creatures. Yeah, I'm at super slowness right now. It's probably a mix of. Hmm. Actually, mine's running okay. Does anyone speak bug man? <laughs> I don't know how I would. I'm going to turn off party vision. Him, but okay. remember, I do have um, comprehend languages if I touch him. And but I that doesn't mean he'll be able to understand us. Exactly. Um, though I would be a little surprised. Like, I, I imagine they can somewhat understand common because the. Um, the woman was calling him off when she wanted to do the honor duel, and it seemed like he obeyed. Fair enough. One, the other one. So, I mean, it's it's worth a try, and then if this guy doesn't work, um, I mean, we can try again, you know, either later in the day or tomorrow from somewhere else. This is just, I mean, <clears throat> this is just the most convenient because, you know, he's right here. I mean, he's evil. We should at least kill him if he won't talk to us or we can't get that to work out. It's one less guy to deal with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, what, I, what time of day are you doing this? Well, what was his shift? And then we'll know. I would think that... Um, I mean, it's probably... So we went down to the uh, to this area early, very early morning... Right, so because so that I would have invisibility still, because that was that day, or no? No, no you guys we, came you back guys? at like one o'clock, yeah. one o'clock, and I, I assumed that, you know it's it's the next day, so you could have your spells and everything. Yes, that's right. Okay, um, I mean, I imagine it'd be early morning. And Jack, just so I'm clear, Jack Bauer's staying at the inn to watch after your horses and the beer, right? Yeah, I don't think we've got anything else for him to do. All right. He uh, he lets you know he can handle it. It's going to be hard work, but he he can get the job done. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> so wasn't wasn't our previous guy Jason Bauer? Is this like his brother? Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess he. I guess he was Bauer, wasn't he? Joseph he Bauer. Was, I think he was a Bauer, no, yeah. No relation. I just picked a random <laughs> character a and Bauer it happened to Bauer. work out. I can't imagine why. <laughs> Jack Bauer. Head of CTU. Anyway. There's a bomb in the horse. So if he ends up being a mall, I'm going to be so pissed off. Because that, you know, that's the deal with the CTU. There's always a mall every season. Yeah. All right. So, do we guys? Um, so, I'm thinking me, Marlo, Hank, we try and drag this guy through. I go through first. You guys come through, try and drag him, and I'll help if necessary. Was that, is that sound like plan? Or do we want to try and scratch to some other location, come in and find a, 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 a target we think is more likely to be able to be easily communicated with. Hold on, I got a question. Like where? I got a question. Did we figure out the rope? Did we get the command word or no? We just know how it works. We don't know the command word yet. No. Does, does Fafnar have a and has he tried? Like, 
I, I think that's what we should be trying to use. Uh, I not, he has not learned uh, 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 identify. And even if he did, he'd only have a 20% chance of trying to figure it out. Better than none. Expensive. Yeah. True. Um, because I, I think I already tried, right? Because if not, I could yeah, yeah. do that and we could try the next day. I think that's in our list of double fails. What were you trying to ID? I'm sorry, I missed it. The I the word uh the command word for the rope. Oh yeah. Wait, I thought you had the word word because you guys were listening for it. That was the sword. That was the sword. My bad. Okay. Yeah. Af after we used the rope, no one um or after the rope was used on us, no one used it again. So we what couldn't is, what is, is it Zippo? Is that the word for the sword? No, I'm pretty sure it's flame on. That makes sense. All right. All well, right. there's a portal there, and the guy seems completely oblivious to it, for what it's worth. You got about uh, 30 minutes or so to make up your mind what you're doing. I thought we had 24 hours. Once you step through, oh, check power has oh, 24 okay. hours. Okay. It's, it's true, it does. And um, Tony Almeida has seemingly more than that if, if you count how he can teleport through LA traffic. Mm. Which guy was Tony? Was Tony. Uh, he was, I think he was a Mullen one season, but he ended up being actually a good guy. He oh, yeah, was, uh, yeah. Okay. But, but one of the big things with him was like, 20 minutes later, he's across town in L.A. traffic. Well, sure. Uh, sure. You can't spend six episodes of a guy just driving across town. Maybe he used the same sewers that Angel uses during the day. Those are pretty quick. <laughs> They're all downhill. He just slides. Man, Xander Berkeley was in that. I like Xander Berkeley. Anyway. That show was awful. That show was awful. To be clear. Which show? 24. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome premise. Um, I think the first half of the first season was really good. And part of the third season was really good. But otherwise, yeah, it was not good at all. Needed, Needed more, more amnesia plot. All right, well, before we run out of time, um, are we going through or not? I, I don't want to go through and then be the only one who went through, and then I'm fighting with this bug guy while you're watching me. Well, that was my plan, so I guess, I guess, sure, let's go through. I don't know. Are we trying to subdue him? I think we're trying to drag him back through as quickly as possible. And then, like, can we just use the You're probably gonna have to subdue combat, him there first. Him down. The gotcha. yeah. My thinking is he's gonna be so surprised that there's a chance we grab him and drag him through before he even is able to realize what's happening. And then, so what can Draga help us out? What spells does he know? Does he have anything that can help subdue this guy? When we get him Drake is a straight up fighter. Oh, I thought he was I thought he was a mage with He knows stab in face. It's the only spell yeah, he knows. Yeah. Okay. Are there any mages left in Garmin's Tower? Yeah, there's uh one of his apprentices, um, Histon. <laughs> Thanks. No. <laughs> his other apprentice who you guys killed, uh what was his name? Started with a T. I don't remember, but Time on. No, not a lot of wizards in uh, Hamlet. There, there are some clerics at the Temple of not Palor. Maybe it's Palor. Yeah, maybe it was the Temple of Palor. Whatever the temple is here, there's a few clerics. There are no magic users at the moment, other than uh, your party that you know of. Anyway. Okay. Well, I mean. I want buy-in from you guys. I don't want to, like, I don't want you guys to 
Do you think sleep is going to work on him? No. I didn't think so either. He seemed like he had a lot of hit points. Um, I mean, I would rather use a surprise round if we get it to just beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Knock him unconscious. Well, you're going to need at least two guys to grab his, what, four arms? Yeah. So I figured I would go through first since I scried, and then Hank and Marlo go through to try and just grab him and drag him through as quickly as possible, and I help push if necessary. And um, and and even if more necessary, Dodge can try and help pull from the other side of the mirror once they get him close. We should have like a. A cage waiting for him on our side to shove him in and lock the door. Not a bad idea. Uh, do we have anything like that? Um, they have not built the. Drago says we haven't we haven't started building the the prison here yet. It just hasn't been a priority. What about a big wooden box? <laughs> um. I mean, if you want to give us a day or two, we could build something. <laughs> An armoire? Yeah, I don't think that would work. Well, so, I mean, what is what is the concern? It's going to be one guy. Once I come back through, it's not like he can escape through the mirror, right? Because the mirror will be turned off the, the moment I come back through. So what is, what is the concern? He's going to be in where he has no idea the land at all. And it's going to be us, our entire party, and four guards plus Draga, all against one guy. If we get him through, fine. The issue is we want information, not suicide by party. Well, I mean, I, I don't know how we're going to compel anyone, you know what I mean? Like, regardless of that. I get that, but having some way of keeping him restrained is better than letting him pulling him through and then him deciding he wants to attack us till we have to kill him, right? Okay, I if want, you guys I want, want, I want, to, want to, build to, them to build a box, I'm fine with that. All right. This is Dragon. Uh let let me let me, let me what 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 are you hoping we do like we can build a box but you mean down here right on the other side of the cage or, or the mirror or what how much information do you think a bug man has about the logistics of you know where the slaves go and all that kind of stuff that's a fair question he might have none he might be integral i, I mean probably more towards less um So yeah, I mean, if you guys want to wait for the scry to end and go in through the uh, through the storehouse and try and find someone who seems like they're likely, like it's a tall order, like the mage, like the mage, yeah. But I mean, it's going to be a tall order to not only get get them without them dying and back through the portal without surprise, but also with, with everybody, everyone else that we're going to have to likely fight through, because I'm sure there'll be more there that we have to fight through, right? Well, I would like to kill the bug man, because we'll have to kill him eventually anyway. But if you want to do that in a way where you think we can question him, that's fine too. But we're probably going to have to subdue, it, subdue him to the point of near death anyway before that's an option, would be my guess. I don't think he's going to be able to speak to us. I think he can understand, but maybe not That's what I was saying. I, I, know, that. I know comprehend language. Oh, okay. So as long as I, I'm touching him, in theory, whatever he's saying, I will understand. Okay. I can't speak his language, but I'm hoping that they at least understand common, common enough because it seemed like they took instructions or at least the other guy did, but they understand common enough 
that they can, you know, understand our questions. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Let's get him. Getting ready to go attack him. All right, Marlo, you in? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so my, the plan is this. Who's, what, tell me the order you're going through. Well, obviously, it has to be me first. So I'm going first. My goal is to get in a position where I'm blocking him from the two doors, the one that's closed and the doorway that's just kind of open. Gotcha. And immediately after, um, whatever order Hank and, and Marlo pick, they're going to come through and try and start attacking and wrestling him back through uh, back through the, the mirror. And then when that's successful, I will come back through it to close it. Um, um, Draga want Draga asks, well, what, what do you, what do you want my guards to do when you, when you pull him through, should they just stand back and let you guys deal with it? Um, well, from my perspective, I mean, he's got multiple arms. If they can help like hold an arm or like one of his legs, just so that he's rest like help to restrain him. Yeah. I'm, I'm fine with that. If they want to get rope to try and tie him up and help tie him up, I'm also fine with that. Okay. They go get some rope. Two, two of them leave to go get some rope. All right. Uh, second through the portal is going to be who? Hank, I, I guess it'll be me. Yes, I want you second through the portal. Third is Marlo? Yes. Anyone else going through? No. Not unless they we see them waving for us to come through or yelling for us to come through. Well, you won't hear it, but yeah, we'll we'll try and wave. All right, I think it's time. Let's do it. All right, Sven. Uh, uh, I jump through and try and block the doors. Are you attacking at all, or you're just blocking? I'm just blocking. I, I'm doing it even as kind of if he's facing out the window and is intent on it. My idea is to he barely even notice, like potentially he doesn't even notice I've entered the room and and moved past him. What kind of armor are you wearing? I'm wearing my mail. So yeah, I mean it's gonna be loud. I get it. Do you have your boots? I do have my boots. Yeah. All right. Marlo's coming right behind you, though, right? Hank is then Marlo. Right, all right. Hank, where are you going? Marlo's not there yet, so I can move him if need be. In fact, I'm just going to move him out of the side for a minute. You've seen whatever room you're in right now before, Dave, by the way. All right. I'm not showing you has, anything you haven't seen before. Has he, or was it Fafnar? I forget if Dave He was up there. Too. No, he was up there. Okay. Okay, this is. Am, am I actually on the map? Can I? Should I be able to see anything? Yeah, no, you should. If I if I open that picture, my system slows down. If I try to make it the background of Fantasy Grounds, my system grinds to a halt. Cool. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to kill it, but I can't move the dialogue that's in front of the X button because it's just not moving. Interesting. No one, else, no one else has had that problem, right? Yeah. I'm running on my working machine right now, and it's... Everything seems the same to me as it has always been. It's a little slow, but it's not completely awful. What the fuck is... It's Marcus. decently lag spiky to me. Yeah. And I haven't even seen the map, so. Interesting. But, like, right now, I'm just trying to move my character sheet around, and it's noticeable second or two delay between my action and it moving. I wonder, was it like it that was last like week? Minutes. Not this bad. Okay. And I had well, two character sheets then. Well, they changed stuff, right, so it could I... be that. It could be something on. 
my, I don't think my end would cause that. <clears throat> if I don't uh, blow it up to full screen, it doesn't uh, lag. So I'm good. Huh. Let me try that real quick. That's bizarre. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's that's the same for me. Something about full screen it does not like. Huh. All right. Cool. Well, crappy. Eh, I can move the map to be the same size it normally is full screen back in the background. Yeah. It's not what the is that one. extra thing in the title bar next to the lock icon, a read-only icon? There's a toggle, toggle toolbar. That's oh. new, yeah. Oh, the toolbar is toggled. They might not toggle right when you're full screen. I'm not even sure what the lock <clears throat> is. Well, it says read only to us, and I can't change that, so. Oh, that's the uh, the token lock, whether or not it lets you move your gotcha. eyes around or not. Ah. I'm typing a note. Uh, to report this. My players right. say that when they make the map full screen, FG legs badly. This is the same map we used last week. We the did. map full screen or Fantasy Grounds? Like, full the map. Yeah. Fantasy Grounds is full screen and it's fine for me. It's the map itself. When I hit the upper right arrow to make it be the background, it just okay. yeah, it shines. Lies. All right, mine seems fine. Why? I turned the video back on. Why did my camera... All right. We're ready? What the heck? Yeah. Uh, Hank, were you, were, what are you doing? It, it's you. I was just so going to smash him. Yeah, just going to smash him. him with the prize. Hey, you uh, add, a, add if, a plus two to your I, attack. Oh, wait, let me uh, unequip his shields, too. Okay. Clearly, you just need to kill this entire place two or three guys at a time per day with surprise attacks. Good. <laughs> You'd be like the best assassin's guild ever. So when I try to drag my attack to the window, it drags the whole character window. Try clicking the button. <clears throat> and then... Console window popped up. Oh, God. Attempt to index global actor manage to a nil value. That is a problem, but that should have been fixed. That's one of the things they changed. Uh, what file does it say that's happening? Campaign scripts character underscore weapon dot Lua. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, you're on your actions tab. You're trying to just click your attack. Yeah. Oh, motherfucker. Well, can you do it through the combat tracker? You don't have buttons there, do you? Nope. Not as such, but you could make me a GM or something. I wish. <laughs> Well, you said dragging it breaks too. Same, same error. So dragging it instead of letting me drag the attack to the window drags my entire character sheet. Yeah, and triggers it from what I'm seeing in the console. Yeah. Well, I can. I mean, I can do it, but through the combat tracker, and then fumble for you. 
and then break <laughs> your weapon because apparently I have Hackmaster stuff on. Let me fix that. Back in a moment. We, uh... Hmm. Clearly, we just need to load up to... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh, that was Eric. Okay. That's a oh. graphical. I get, here, let me look at this for one second. I want to see if this is something I can fix or not. I knew there were problems, but I hadn't heard anyone complain they couldn't attack. Um, what was the file again? What was the file? Character underscore weapon, I think. Character weapon, okay. Campaign. So two weeks ago, Dave, I got like five criticals in in one session. Just all of my rolls were amazing. And then last week, I missed like 55 times. And now this week, I can't even make an attack. <laughs> uh, I have really lost favor with Lepander. It's going down. I Next week. Don't Next know. week actually start the fantasy ground application it, it just won't start on your computer next week this makes no sense line 46 doesn't even have that did you update before you uh, log uh you know what yeah. i okay everybody log out i might just need to I, th I think something might have updated that shouldn't have, but I have the file I need. So I might just be able to okay. turn well, this back on. Back in a moment, I have to bounce Discord in the meantime. Okay. If if this doesn't work, we're probably going to call it for tonight, because uh -uh. if you can't make attacks, that's a problem. I guess you could just roll D20s. Or you could do the old-fashioned way. Who knows? It might even be fun. Um... Let me find the file, though. It's that. You can give Al a chance to experience Thaco the way it is meant to be done. Yeah. <laughs> With a hand-drawn chart. Rule sets. I... I'm real confused. GitHub 2E, put that there, delete that, change it to a zip file, unzip it, you guys should just all be GMs, problem solved. Campaign, oh. scripts, character weapon. Line 46 isn't even what it says it's calling. This makes no sense. I'm going to run this. Line and if, 45. Five, if this works. Don't anyone try to connect yet because I can just see if it works before anyone even connects. So. That's what I was saying. Did Andrew update? It shouldn't, yeah, of course. it shouldn't, uh, it shouldn't matter. He, he was duplicating the error by trying it from my sheet. Oh. Uh, either way, I'm pretty sure you get whatever code I have mm. um, for, I, the, for the rule set. Because like when I did the full programming experience. Set, Like, you don't have anything that downloads my mod to your end other than you trying to connect to my server. Mm. So I think that's when you get the latest code. I'm very confused, though, because the bug we were seeing doesn't seem to apply to the actual code that I'm running. But this, this did break an awful lot of stuff, so... Don't know. I don't know why you would like change the interface of everything for no reason and then force everybody to update their code when so like there was a thing called actor manager 2 and they renamed it to like actor manager 
AD and D or Actor Manager Five E or something. I don't know. And it used to be called Get Actor to get like the node for the you know whoever the character was, and they changed it to Resolve Actor. And just everybody had to go fix their code to do that now. Characters. Hank. And actions. It's still blown up. Am I not looking at the right file? One last check, and then we're probably calling it, unfortunately. I'm voting Hank for MVP. Finding the bug? I had heard other people complaining stuff wasn't working great for their games this week, but I didn't I didn't hear like people literally couldn't attack. Which makes me wonder. Check one more time. Campaign scripts, character, weapon, Lua. Oh, you know what? Do I have a file called that? Hold on, that might be me. This might be totally fixable. Yes, it is my fault. I blame me. Never, never admit that. No, wait. I mean, maybe I just have to recompile my thing. Maybe I update it. Hmm. It makes more sense that it would be my thing. Because it's in the right place to be my thing. <laughs> but I actually fixed my code. So now I just got to check. Maybe I just didn't push it. One moment. This might be fixable. I still blame them for breaking everything on Tuesday. And yeah. No one any time to deal with it. I'll be right back. Yeah. Good call. Reload. Oh, yeah, baby. Or like I said, we could try the roll a d20 option. I'm sure it'll be exciting. Then I have to actually understand the rules. You don't really have to. <laughs> Okay, so good news is apparently it wasn't using my updated code. Bad news, apparently there's a compiler. Man, I used to think you were a good GM. I know, right? This never happened back at the apartment. True. Called shots are broken for sure. Um, yeah, something else is broken now. Well, Give this one more load real quick. We could just go diceless for tonight. That is crazy talk, man. That's like negative five honor. It takes so long to reload. One four two eight. 
1428. 1428. There's an extra comma somewhere. Found it. Done. Rebuild. Work after this. Everybody's happy. The end. Is someone back? Yeah, sorry. No, you're fine. All I've been trying to do is... It looks like the problem was I updated my extension, but for some reason it wasn't pushed. So it was still using the broken stuff. But so now apparently there was some error that I thought I had tested, but apparently never did because I never actually pushed my change. So if I can fix this in the next minute or two, we'll keep going. And if I can't, we'll probably call it tonight just because. Fair enough. So you're saying don't join just yet. Got it. Don't join just yet. Right now I'm reloading and I'm seeing if it breaks upon load. Okay, well, I guess I will finally take my turn in the Through the Ages game that Dave finally took his turn in. Nice. I got, I got something in my eye there. Uh huh. And then we all just go play Valheim instead. <laughs> <laughs> it's not awesome. like I'm winning this game anyway, Dave. Yeah, I know. All I'm right. nowhere near this one. So far, it's loading. Uh, let's see if Andrew can attack now. Should we log in? Not yet. If it breaks, there's no point. So, Hank, actions. Let's do. Click the button. It blew up in a totally different way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's, no, I got stuff that's... I got to fix, so. And in the development world is what we call progress. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, shit. That'll do it for tonight then, guys. Sorry. I, I, I might fix it in half an hour, but I'm not going to make everyone sit here half an hour. So. Fair we enough. Can, uh, we, we can stay and give you encouragement. Nah. Well, I mean, <laughs> if you want to stick around and chat, that's fine. But we're, the game's <laughs> over for tonight, unfortunately. All right, I'm taking off then. Yep, catch you later. Good luck, you. Derek. Yeah, right. it'll, it'll be fixed for next week. All right. Unless See they break it again on me on Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> Don't sit there and call for the worst, Derek. What's that? It sounds like you're calling for the worst. Unless they break well, it again. It doesn't fully work, um, even for people like just using the base thing. Mm -hmm. So they're still trying to patch it and get everything working. And like, and I think they, I think also it caused problems in so many rule sets, they're reverting some changes. So then it, I, I might have to revert changes I made to make it work. So I don't know. We're going to find out what happens. It was a, they didn't do a good job here. Yep. Sounds like a clusterfuck. Yeah. So do they plan to have a stable version anytime soon? They thought they did. Uh, oh, you know what? I think I said problem. Is it, is it possible to just roll back to a previous How version? How has this never blown up? <laughs> <sighs> Get to hit profs. What does that even mean? Uh, n not really. Maybe. Yeah, I probably could. If I had a copy of their underlying rule set, I could I could put it in there. I, I just don't have a copy of it. Mm. I'll have it working next week. I th I thought it was working now, but apparently I missed something. Oh, I see the I see how to fix this one. All right, that's good. Well, it's we don't normally make attack rolls, so I no reason to check that. I didn't check from your sheet. It was working through the combat tracker. Yeah, I totally get. Uh, yeah. Anyway, it's okay. Now I know your plan, and I have plenty of time to <laughs> screw it up. It's, it's a pretty simple plan. I watched Truth Seekers. Is that the Simon Pegg one? Uh, it's more Nick Frost. Simon Pegg is in it, but he has a smaller role. Okay. 
uh, on Amazon. Yeah. I heard it was not renewed for a second season. Yeah. I, I really liked it. And uh, so I was sad to find out that it did not get renewed. So I would say it's not worth watching because the best stuff is in the back half of the season and we'll never get a payoff. Is it better or